This was the only way Harold Shipman was ever going to leave prison. At 10 past 11 this morning, a funeral van collected his body and took it to a hospital in Sheffield for post-mortem. Sometime before dawn, the man believed to have taken more than 200 lives took his own under the very noses of his guards. For Wakefield Prison, Category A, and one of the most secure in the country, it is a serious embarrassment. Shipman was not on suicide watch, was not considered at risk. His single cell was checked every hour, not often enough to prevent him fashioning a ligature from his bedsheets and hanging himself from the bars on his window. Shipman had pulled the curtains around himself to obscure the view of the officer doing his rounds. At about 20 past six, he gets to Harold Shipman's cell uh, and finds him hanging from a ligature on the wall. He alerted staff. Uh, the jail went into its normal contingencies for these things and they tried their very best to revive him. Shipman was far from a model prisoner. Last month, he'd lost his TV and been put back in prison uniform for being surly and challenging authority. But these privileges had recently been restored and his solicitor said he was still fighting to clear his name. We were astounded that a person who finally having a ray of hope uh, into perhaps having a, a, a grounds of appeal presented in the Court of Appeal should decide to take his own life. But for the families of the victims, the 15 patients at this surgery he was convicted of killing, the 215 more he's believed to have killed, anger and great distress, many too upset to speak except through a solicitor. They'd hoped one day, even though they know now the facts in their individual cases, they hoped one day to find out why he did what he did and perhaps something of what was in his mind when he was doing it. And of course now they're never going to have that opportunity. There will be inquiries as to why prison staff failed to prevent this. The prison ombudsman will be at the forefront, though he accepts it's impossible to prevent all prison suicides. So the truth of the matter is, if you want to run a humane prison system, one in which prisoners are not under permanent 24-hour surveillance, then there are going to be situations, particularly at night, when they're not being looked at by, by prison staff, and there is the opportunity, therefore, for self-harm and, and, for, and for suicide. In his life, Shipman hid hundreds of murders from the authorities. Perhaps that makes it less surprising that in death he was able to hide one more killing.